Hello, Scratchers. In the last episode, I added the name display to the MMORPG, but you still cannot interact with others in this game. Some Scratchers said that I should make a chat system, and some wanted to know how to use the syntactic sugar extension. In this episode, I have synced to the latest episode of Great Patch tutorial. Now, you can control the character with the WASD case. I will build a chat system in this game with canvas and simple MMO, and I will show you how to use the syntactic sugar extension. At the end, we will get a smooth chat board. And now, here we go! Let's open the project. It has been published on Cochorea. You can find the link in our Discord server. We also developed some useful Discord bots. For example, you can get a code analysis report of a Scratch project. We will still working on them. Come and try them out. Let's jump into the project. Create a new sprite to build the chat system. Name it chat system. First question. How to send and receive messages in Gandhi IDE? I can use these two blocks in the simple MMO extension. Use this block to send a message. The first property is the type of a message and the second one is the content of the message. I will use chat as a type, and the content should be filled in by players. In Scratch, I could use ask and wait. I want to set space as a key to send a message, then put ask and wait here, and the answer should be the content of the message. With this script, players can send messages. Now, let's receive messages. Use this block. In the block, I can get a sender's session ID, UID, name, message type, and content. In this project, I will use name and content, and put them together into a string with a join block. Maybe I can create a list to save messages. Name it messages. Add this string to the list. Okay, let's test. Great, but on the sender side, the message is not added to the list. That is because that event can only be used to receive others' messages. When a player sends a message, this message should be added to the list. I will put another add to list block here, and add this string to the list. Okay, test again. It works. A slight problem. When the player doesn't tap anything, a blank message will be added to the list. Let's fix it. Put an if then block here. The condition should be the answer is not blank. At last, initialization. When the green flag is clicked, delete all messages. Now I can check all the information in the list, but it looks incompatible. Maybe I can make a chatboard like this one. I will draw a chatboard and use the canvas extension to print text. First, draw a chatboard. In Gandhi IDE, 
you can set the opacity of a color. Mm, I need to print the text. Jump to the player sprite. Add a new broadcast in the game loop. Name it Paint Chat. Back to the chat system. I need a When I Receive block. Select Paint Chat. Like the name display, I should clear the canvas before painting content. OK, let's make a block. Name it Paint Chat. Run without screen refresh. Put it here. When a new message is received, it should be painted at the bottom of the chat board, and it looks like an item added to the list. I will paint the list from the last line. Let's define the paint chat block. Draw the last line first. Set the color to white. Then draw text. The content should be the last line of the list messages. Use item of a list. Select messages. The index should be the lines of the messages. The position is in the coordinate system of the canvas. Set x to 5 and y to 355. OK, let's test. Great, the first line has been painted. Next step, paint the list line by line from the bottom. Make a variable, name it index, for this sprite only. And set it to the lines of the list messages. Use this variable as an index. Then, repeat the lines of messages. Each time, draw an item from the list messages and change the index by minus 1. The Y position should be changed for each line. Make a new variable, name it Y, and set it to 355. Use it as the Y position of the text, and change it by minus 10 each time. Now test again. It works. Everything looks good, but what if we send a long message? Oh, it breaks the boundary of the chatboard. Maybe I should split long messages to fit the board. In the canvas extension, I can use this block to get the length of the piece of text on the stage. To split a piece of text, I will make two variables, store the whole message in the first variable, and then set the second variable to the first variable character by character, until the length of the second variable is over the width of the board, add it to the list, and repeat the process from the next character in the first variable, until all characters have been added to the list. Let's code. Make a block to split the message and add to the list. Make a variable. Name it temp1. Make another variable. Name it temp2. The width of the board is 200. If the length of the message is less than 118, add it to the list directly. Else, set temp1 to the message 
and set time two to blank. Then, repeat until the width of time two is greater than 118. Set time two to the value of time two joined with the character in time one. The index should be the length of time two plus one. Then, add time two to the list. And set type one to the remaining characters. But how to get these characters? We could use a block from Syntactic Sugar extension. Click the extension button. Find and install it. The block we need to use is this one. With this block, I can get part of the string. In this case. The start index should be the length of temp two plus one, and the end index should be the length of temp one plus one. Then set temp two to blank again. This process should be repeated until the width of temp one is less than one hundred and eighteen. Then add temp one to the list. Then replace these blocks. Okay, let's test. Great, a long message is split into several pieces. But wait, this word was cut into two parts.、Uh, maybe I could modify this script to avoid it. I will modify the condition here. Add another condition. The last character in temp two is a space character, and width of temp two is greater than one hundred and fifteen. That means there is no room for another word in this line. Test again. Looks good. There might be some special cases. If you have a better solution, come to our Discord server and tell me. Now the chatbot works well, but when there are many lines, the text will break the boundary again. I will use this block to clear the extra part. This block could clear a rectangle part on the stage. I want to clear this part. Put this block here. Set the position, width, and height. Now the text outside of the board is hidden. Maybe I can make it school. Make a variable. Name it school. For this sprite only, set it to zero in the initialization. Set y to 355 plus school. When I change the value of school, the y position of all lines will be changed. I will use arrow keys to control the value of school. When the up arrow is pressed, change school by five. When the down arrow key is pressed, change school by minus five. Let's test it. If you have a mouse with a screw wheel, you can also use it to screw. It works, but I need to add some restrictions. The first line and the last line should be the scrolling borders. Only when the value of school is greater than zero will it be changed by minus five. There are nearly forty lines on the board. The height of each line is ten. Only when the value of school is less than the length of the list minus forty multiplied by ten will it be changed by five. Test again.
Great, it's perfect. The last step, I will add a close and open feature to the chat board. Using this block, go to a position smoothly. Here is how it works. I can use this block to make a board go anywhere smoothly. If you don't know how to build it, come to discuss with me in our Discord server. I use the C key to close and open the chat board. When the Y position of the board is less than minus 150, it is closed. Pressing the C key should open it. Otherwise, pressing the key should close it. The text should move with the board. Add minus 100 minus Y position to the Y position of the text and the blank rectangle area. Set the Y position to minus 250 in the initialization. At last, test it. Fantastic! Now we have a wonderful chat board. Maybe you can try to add system notifications to the chat system. If you finished, don't forget to tell me in the Discord server. Next time, I will use data utils in Gandhi IDE to add a save and load system to this game. Stay tuned. See you next time.